Well, that's your thoughts on this afternoon's game against Berlin. Two old draw coming from behind thrice against a side that has won every single game to date. Well, that's it. You have to take the positives from it. They have won all their games and I think we came back from goal down, equalised, another goal down and equalised again. So, um, hard commitment from the lads was definitely top notch, but just smaller things, just maybe fitness levels and just I suppose, giving options off the ball um, when we're playing out from the back. We just need to improve on a little bit, but I just thought it was a, a positive all around and taking them down a peg um, and hopefully making the league a little bit more interesting. And the result actually confirms a uh, place in the top five, which is um, important from our from our own standpoint. For when you when you look at bigger competitions like the FAI Junior Cup and the Connacht Cup, you really want to be playing against the uh, better teams week in week out. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like if we finish in the bottom five, I think like, no disrespect at the start of the year. If you told us that we'd be even battling for the top five, we would have been uh, saying that it never happened. But look, it's the way the league panned out this year. But um, I'm hoping that you know the new formation that we've implemented this year that we'll have kind of more ammunition now in the FAI Cup and hopefully make a good run out. And Ballyhane to 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 be to be honest when you look at it, they did put us under a fair bit of pressure today. They had one um, notable spell in the first fifteen minutes in the second half before they scored the first goal then in which we barely got out outside our own penalty area. Yeah but look that's football you have to weather storms for fifteen minutes, ten minutes sometimes so I thought we'd done that fairly well but again just you know we're getting a few players back from injury um, a few faces Darren Brown is back Whitey is making a recovery now from the hamstring injury so you know it's uh, positive in that regards as well so hopefully we just hit the ground running the cup final to look forward to in about a month's time and uh, hopefully a good run in the Connacht Cup and Junior Cup and speaking about the FAI Junior Cup we're packing the league for now um, facing Claremore's on Sunday we know what, what they're like on a good day there are they're as good as any side in the county when they're on top of their game and we know that's just going to be a very difficult task ahead. Oh yeah, sure, every game. Look, any opposition that's uh, playing in the Super League will always be a tough game. So I just think we need to get our heads on and uh, hit the ground running Tuesday, Friday's training and uh, get our heads right because talent-wise, there's enough in the group. We just need to maybe just work that little bit harder and uh, just see how we get on from there. And Trish, a strong relationship with the FAI Junior Cup and getting to the quarterfinals in the last two, two editions and for the lads will be chomping at, at the bit again to get a very good run in the competition yeah the same look, obviously go two steps further hopefully um but again look a lot of the times it's just down to as i said hitting the peak at the right time at this time of year you know the pitches are a bit worse for wear so you know you just gotta make sure that you're fully prepared have a full squad full commitment from all the lads and uh, just working, uh, doing your own bit fitness-wise in the off-season as well when the league finishes up. Thank you very much. Oh, Park, a huge game this afternoon against Ballyhane. The first team to take points off them this season and it actually confirms their place in the top five finish. What's your thoughts? Disappointment that we didn't win the game. You know, we, 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 we wanted to win the game. You know, we, we saw that's what we set out to do. So. That's the first thing I feel is disappointment. Um, disappointment that we didn't get the three points. Disappointment that it took us so long to to play properly. I thought in the first half we were very lethargic. We never really were passive. We lacked aggression, we lacked positivity. And it took, and we started the second half actually in, in, in a quite similar vein. And it took them to score for us to, to do anything about it, for us to play a bit properly, like we were able to play. So from there on, that point on, I thought we were all right. And we showed a lot of heart. You know, we we came back twice there today after conceding goals, and we got something out of the game at the end. And we, you know, on another day, we could have we could have, we could have sneaked it. Then again, they had a huge amount of, not a huge amount, but they had quite a few opportunities that they'll look back on and wonder how they didn't get three points. So, I suppose, looking at it from that point of view, the point each wasn't too bad for us, but going back to my initial point, my initial view, I'd be disappointed. And when, when you look at the game in context, really, um, Ballyhane did force Gary into a few saves during the game, and Gary did quite well when he was called upon. And there was a spell in the second half. We were under the cosh for about 15 minutes before they got their first goal. Um, 
So how do we address it going forward for the bigger test to come later on? Well, that's a big test, Ken. Yeah. And, uh, you know, your starting point is uh, your effort and your application. And that's your starting point. That's what you got to get right. Uh, you know, we, we've got to be realistic too. We, you know, we lost Killian McLeod in the warm up. We lost James O'Donnell 15 minutes into the game. We lost Joe Lawless 40 minutes into the game. We're already without Mikey O'Brien, Phil Keegan, and, and a number of other players. It was Darren Brown's first game in since the start of August. It was Peter Cochran's second 20 minutes this season. So when you factor all that in, plus some of the younger players that we're bringing through, the likes of Killian White, who was first competitive start. Dylan O'Malley came on there today with Harrison on the bench. Harrison Quinn, you know it's there's it's a lot of inexperience on our pitch on our on our team. So you know we, we have to factor that in when we're making judgments on how we play. We have to factor that into it. Uh, but your question, how do we address those issues of being dominated going forward? Is that what your point is? That, uh, you know, how is that, that what you're saying is that how do we address being dominated by the opposition? Well, yes, you want more of the ball. You want to get the ball. You want to keep the ball yourself. But but you know they're a good team, and sometimes you gotta you gotta do your work without the ball. And uh, you know you talked about Gary making some saves. Yeah, he made some saves, but he's a good keeper, and we'd expect him to make any save he made there. So and the defending in front of him was good as well. A lot of last last gap defending, and a lot of times Ballyham players were put under pressure taking the the shot that the possibly might have scored from. So that's all good play. That's all good defending. It mightn't look lovely, but it's it's good play. And we're going to pack the league for now. And looking ahead is the FA Junior Cup next Sunday against Clare Morris. And Clare Morris, as we know, are a good side on their day. Well capable of getting results, as we all know. And they had a huge win against Casper Celtic in the last round. And there's a game in which we really have to be up for it to have any chance of pro progression. Oh, you know, you, you can forget about progressing if you're not up for every game. You know, there's, there's there's no issues about that. If you're if you're not right mentally before you start the game, you can forget about ever winning it. So, you know, that's our responsibility as a management team to make sure everybody is right. Uh, we didn't play well in our last junior cup game here against Cross Malina. You know, we struggled over the line. The same day they put eleven goals, they scored eleven goals. So there you go. That says. Uh, that says a bit about uh, the, the, the the opposition that we're facing next Sunday, and uh, but you know it's great. We love we love it. It's we love playing the FAI Junior Cup. Kenneth. It's it's a fantastic competition, and it's been good to us. And I think we've been good to it as well. So uh, next Sunday, yeah, big game for us. But we'll have to be right. But we want to win. We're going to have to win. And knowing the lads with their relationship from the FAI Junior Cup. I'm sure they'll really be up for it this time round and give it 110%. Absolutely, we talked about it in there. Uh, we've, as you said yourself, that we've parked this now today. The league has to be parked, and we've got to get our heads on on uh, Clemoris, and we'll start that on Tuesday night. The training. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Kenneth. Thank you.